Just like that. Right in front of your eyes. Live. <laughs> I uh, don't remember what that clip was about. But someone clipped it as a reference to something that was lewd. <clears throat> but um, I, I think I was talking to Odin, who barely comes around anymore. Uh, but it was a fun conversation nonetheless. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. How am I doing? I'm okay. Uh, we have a... We have a, a current... Uh, medical scare with Sandy at the moment. It's, it's more of a worry instead of a scare. <laughs> Warner, yeah, right? Both of you, both of you guys are, are on the same wavelength here. But she's, she's okay. She's here. Um, I'm just hoping it's not anything bad. And we're going to have a good day today. Here's our perimeter. There's our walls. This is the fourth wall. We're not going to break it. <laughs> Let's get back started on it again. We ended it prematurely last night because we switched over to play some Tarkov with EJ. Which was a lot of fun. We had, um, I made I made a bet to chat for 10 subs. I would shoot him in the head. And somebody gifted 10 subs. I shot him in the head. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> Dirtmaster, I appreciate it, buddy. She, I mean, we'll, we'll see. But she's, she's at that age where, like, any kind of contusion, bump, inflammation has to be cause for concern. Dark Crystal, that doesn't work right now. It hasn't worked for three days. I have I've been meaning to work on it, but I haven't been on my PC not streaming yet. But it's good to see you. Hi. I'll 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 try to do it for you. Dance magic dance. Uh smack that baby, make it bleed. Haha. <laughs> no, you don't have to forget. I was supposed to have it finished today and I didn't do it, so. Uh today today didn't go as planned. Well, I called, I called yesterday to sign the vet appointment, but the doctor called me and she was like, she was like, yeah, she was like, it's solid. And I was like, yeah, that was my concern. My, my two concerns about the, the lump was a, that it was solid and B when I pushed on it, Sandy didn't react as if it was painful. Now, if she would have been like, you know, or something like it was painful, then I could write it off as like a bruise or something like that. But she didn't react. So if it's a solid mass, uh, that's that's the biggest issue. So her her concerns were the exact same concerns I had. And she said that the location of it makes it very difficult if they were to do surgery. Uh, the way she was talking, if they end up having to take it out, she might lose her eye. So that's fun. And it's just it's just stuff I don't feel like worrying about right now. So we'll see what happens. How are the margins? I don't know what you're asking me. It's scary. But um but yeah, so they took a sample, they're gonna send it out and see what happens. Smooth or rough? I have no way of telling scary. I don't know. I'm not a professional. Savory, that's true, but it just sucks, you know? <laughs> Calcium-filled cyst thing? Where was it, Amelia? Because this one's next to the eye. Her brain's up there and everything else. There's a lot of vital organs over there. Usually, calcium-filled stuff wouldn't be in that location. It would be more like neck, throat, stuff like that. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's okay, Dirtmaster. We'll figure it out. I. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's no, there's no, no, no reason to delve into it. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know the series of events that have led to right now. But yeah, we're, I'm just waiting it out. Uh, we'll let, we'll let science do handle the rest of it and. If we got to do something, we got to do something. I'll keep. I'll let you guys know. Obviously. How you doing, YJPT? Welcome in, buddy. Yeah, scary. I mean, 
It sure is a possibility. All right, let's hope so. It's on her hip. Yeah, that's that's where you would you would find something like that. Because that's where all of their um, processing organs and stuff are. But it's good that you got it checked out. This one's this one's up in the head. They're even even if it is benign. She said that th that if it shows signs of growth, they still might have to remove it. Obviously, because it'll cause pressure and it could speed up all kinds of things. And she's old. She's a senior dog, you know. She's been a senior for three years now, which I didn't know that a dog was a senior dog after eight years old. That blew my mind. I thought it was after like 10 or 11. So she's been a senior for three years and I didn't even know it. <laughs> but she's been relatively healthy all of her life. I guess if it's something like this, it, you know, now's the time it would happen. She hasn't really broken any bones. She hasn't had any, like, issues or things like that. How you doing, Ghost Plains? Welcome in, buddy. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for coming in. So our goal today is to finish this wall and finish the ceiling. And then uh, we'll, start getting, we'll start getting buckets of lava for that. I got to get the outline set up. <laughs> Dirt Master. <laughs> I could I could get those fifty five plus breakfasts at IHOP, right? Just gotta show her face. She's a senior guys, look at her. Can't you see your gray hairs? Your days pretty much hurry up and wait. What are you hurrying up and waiting on? Weather, work stuff? <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> You're biased, Amelia. <laughs> But I appreciate you nonetheless. <laughs> His face is cute. My face? Or Sandy's face? Sandy's face is pretty cute. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, you need to make your way off this cliff here. How much wall do I have left to place? Exactly what you're seeing. We got three walls up and a half of this one. We just got all the way up to there, and we're finished. Our team finished our defect backlog and ran out of stuff to do. You're waiting on the formal offer from corporate on that new role. Oh, okay, cool. Not far off. No, and we have all the materials that we need for the ceiling, too, YJ. You're a Bob Evans kind of man. Uh, they don't have any Bob Evans around here anymore. They replaced them with Boston Markets. There used to be a lot of Bob Evans around here. There's probably some like south over in Johnston County, but I'm not going out there. I have I have zero reason to go to Johnston County. I have, no, I'm good. Yeah, from here to here, YJ. That's the link that we've got all the way up to there. I was trying to finish it yesterday before me and EJ played Tarkov. It shouldn't take us but like another half an hour to finish this wall. You want a Huddle House to come back in my area? So what was the difference between Huddle House and like Waffle House? Weren't they the same company? They just had different names, Sleepy? Because it was the same sign, right? The yellow looking like Wheel of Fortune sign. Hi, Speedworks. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome in. It was like the Southern IHOP. Yeah, but I thought I thought it was similar, similarly laid out like a Waffle House was. Either way, we got some Waffle Houses around here. Uh, the last one I went to willingly, which is like five miles down the road from me, um, in my seat was uh, a used syringe. And I was like, ma'am, could you clean this up, please, before I sit down? And she was like, oh, that looks like a problem. I'm like, yeah, that looks like a problem. Because doesn't, doesn't Huddle and Waffle have the same amount of letters? It sounds about right. Yeah, it's, it's on par for a Waffle House, that's for sure. We got to take these lights down, too, sometime.
Speedworks, it's good to have you in here, buddy. Thanks for coming in and hanging out. I just got to keep breathing and hydrating, chat. You never been to a Waffle House? It's just like a Huddle House. <laughs> Huddle House and Waffle House are the same place, sleepy developer. Let me let me double check real quick. In, in my mem in my mind's mind, if I look up Huddle House and look at the signs, see see that sign right there where it says Huddle House. That's the old that's the old Huddle House sign. And if I change Huddle out for Waffle House, they had the same kind of sign. Okay, so yeah, they're they're the same place. Sleepy developer. They might even be owned by the same company. Who knows? But they have a they have a one sheet menu. It's usually your your table mat. It's usually covered in in syrup and and got snot and stuff all over it. They're they're very they're very par for the course when you go to sit down and eat. And uh, they're known for their their that's Spanish obviously I can't read that but they're known for their for their hash browns. They've got they've got a ton of prefixes for their hash browns that you can get. Uh, you can get them like smothered, covered, top, uh, baked, scratched, poured, and then it, it includes like gravy, mushrooms, onions, bacon, and, and and you can get like the garbage can where they throw like green peppers and everything else into it. It, I mean, it's pretty good. But it's kind of like a Denny's. It's, it's where you want to go when you're like drunk at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're like, man, I need five ounces of grease in my system. You're like, hey, there's a Waffle House right there. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in there and eat some food. And they call you Suge and Darlin. And, you know, they just serve you the, the greasiest, most delicious breakfast you could ever eat drunk at 3 a.m. What's up, too legit? How you doing, buddy? You thought White Castle was drunk stoner food? That's during the daytime. White Castle's not open 24 hours, though, I don't think. What's up, AJ? Welcome in, buddy. Too legit? How have you been, buddy? How's life? Hungry at 3 a.m.? I know where to go. Well, down here where I'm at, you've also got Cookout. Cookout's open at 3 a.m. And Cookout is, is better food, but they don't have breakfast. So, like, if you want, like, a, a, a cheeseburger at 3 o'clock in the morning, cookout's the way to go. You cookout? Oh, dude, I love cookout. You, you can go spend $7 and eat like a king, man. Hi, nieces. How are you, friend? Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, oh, oh no good. I'll fight you over, over cookout. A cookout isn't the best food, but for $7, you can't get an entire meal that's fairly decent anywhere else. I promise you. Get like two hot dogs or a giant triple cheeseburger, and you can get it customized with any amount of toppings for no extra charge. And then you get like two sides and like a, a, a cheer wine. Oh, cheer wine. If you guys don't know what cheer wine is, cheer wine's good stuff. Nieces, I'm doing all right, buddy. We're 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 focusing on on finishing up this the box structure, and then we should be good to go. Cheer wine's the best. For anybody who hasn't tried it before, when you try to explain it to them, they're like, "It's what? It's like, just just drink it, <laughs> just drink it." It's like a it's like a cherry flavored. It it's kind of flat. It's like a flat cherry flavored Dr Pepper. And you're gonna think that sounds horrible, but you gotta you gotta drink it. It's cherry coke. No, not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. You're fond of grape knee highs? Cheer wine? Yes, cheer wine. It's like a it's like a flat cherry Dr. Pepper. Yeah, my sister loved the knee highs growing up, sleepy. You can get cheer wine at a local mom and pop burger joint. Yeah, uh, Cookout is it has has it here, which started off as a local burger joint, but now it's like, I think I saw them in Virginia. 
which that's pretty cool. They're starting to crawl around the, the southern states here. A flat Dr. Pepper. You gotta try it, Dark Crystal. You can't yuck it until you try it. It Describing it is difficult. You have to... It's one of those things that you have to actually try. <coughs> Did we just really empty another shulker box? Is that my last one? I think that's my last one. I got three more stacks right there. And then all that's red nether bricks. I don't think we have enough. I have to go get more. Ugh. I thought I, I thought I brought enough with me. Oh well. Yeah, I'll we'll have to go back and get some more bricks. I gotta when I go back to the overworld chat, remind me that I need to grab the other beacon too. Because we got to get two beacons set up. Uh, that way we can take out all of those um, basalt blocks. I got to set up double haste. That way we, ha we have enough coverage. that set up we can finish this and then we can just we can start grabbing that um choker box that i have full of buckets and going to get lava or at least setting up the perimeter for the farm we're gonna need some kind of stairwell from the opening we need some kind of stairwell that comes all the way down i don't know if i want to spiral it or what and then uh we need to set up an area probably right here for the um piglin bartering and then go out and have the farm right there in the middle. You're not a big soda guy? I'm not a big soda guy either. But I, I like I like Dr. Pepper root beer if I'm drinking a dark soda. Dr. Pepper root beer. I really like sweet tea, but I got to stop drinking so much sweet tea. It's going to get me in trouble. Hi, Captain Conrad. Welcome in, buddy going well uh warner they announced the twitchcon dates by the way july 7th 7th through the 9th i think for twitchcon in amsterdam Sixteen, seventeen. so so if you got some space you know let me know i don't mind paying to sleep over at your place hi miss chris Lynn. welcome back in i'm glad you're not dead it's good to have you here Thank you for being a part of our amazing community. I appreciate you. <laughs> Warner's like, you can't stay over at my house. <laughs> Hi, Brucey. What's up, bud? Yeah, I, I really, really want to go, you guys. I really want to go. That's awesome, Miss Chrislin. Are you, are you taking a vacation and getting paid and stuff, or are you not able to do that? Did you get all your vacation days and stuff? You're not able to do that. Oh, that sucks. How'd you get that funny looking thing to hang in the air like that? Funny looking thing to hang what in the air? You come up my face? Uh, my re the rest of my body is the secret. What am I building? Hi, Outlaw. Exclamation point project if you're interested, but we're building a gold farm. They're going to pay you out for the days you're losing. Oh, okay. The light brown stuff. Oh, these things right here? These are these are lights. They're, they're naturally generated in the world. Um, there used to be blocks all around here, Brucey. We cleared all of it out manually. They're left hanging. We got to go. We got to go cut it all down. Yeah, outlaw. I gotta I gotta spawn proof the area for the gold farm to work effectively. So we've been working on clearing this place out for like the last month. Gravity is weird. There is no gravity. There there is gravity, but the world is is stationary, Brucey. So like the way the way the, the way the game works, Brucey, if I build two blocks high, 
and then break this block, that block stays there. It's not gravity, but, but if I take it and I throw it, it falls and rests on the ground. If it's, if it's placed, it doesn't fall unless it's like a certain block. But most of the time, they just stay there. Hi, Camaro Shell. Welcome in. It's good to see you today. Yeah, Outlaw, you're catching us towards, like, the tail end of everything. We had to clear this place out. Uh, we had to build walls. We got a ceiling we got to finish today. Speedworks. This game isn't in alpha for 15 years either. They're still trying to get everything in that game to work. You can use that as, a, as an example if you want to, but this game's completed and the other one's not. I don't know, Outlaw. I don't I don't follow mods very well. <laughs> I don't think he will, <laughs> Dirtmaster. You can try though. He probably knows about its existence because they have an education version of the that they teach at school. Bye, Abu. Have fun, buddy. Have a good night. We might have enough? I don't know. We always get so dangerously close, and I always think we have enough, but then we... We're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 22 stacks. So now we only have like 15. Classes got canceled for tomorrow because of icy roads. Awesome. What's something you're into? Oh, man. Will be Tuesday, not tomorrow. Cool. You got more time to study, Ghost Plains. I've got faith in you, dude. Get that stuff worked on. Oh, Dirt Master. There's a ton of mods, dude. There's like 60,000 mods for this game. And there's mod packs. There's like space ones. There's medieval ones. There's steampunk ones. I'm sure you can... If you go to curseforge.net.com, whatever, just Google CurseForge Minecraft and look through all the mod packs, you can probably find something that'll work. You might have to run an older version of Minecraft. But there's some there's some crazy mod packs for this game that exist. Yeah, it, it's this game's been around for 10 years. I think, I think most mods hard cut off right around 113, 112. There, there are some that go off into 114 and 116, but those are few and far between, and some of those aren't even that fun. But if you, Dirt Master, if you have the Java version, it is infinitely easier for you to find mods for the game. If you're running the Bedrock version, you're going to have to pay for those. And if you have to pay out of pocket, you're better off buying the Java version and just starting from scratch again. There's been a great wave in updating to 116. Well, I mean, they're going to have to update to something I'm no good. If they fall too far behind, they're going to, you know, it's going to be worthless to play modded. 
There's a bunch being made for 118 now. Well, 118 inspired a lot of people to come back into the game because they changed it. 118 Minecraft is probably different than, than any other version of Minecraft. One, 116 added the, the nether and stuff, but 118 changed the overworld, and that's huge. So it got a lot more people interested in the game, which is what they wanted to have happen. Ideas for what to build on my island on the community server. Ideas for what to build. Hmm. What do you mean? You mean just like anything? All right, let's go. Let's go home. Yoink. Yeah, it's not a Steam game. It's a, it's a Microsoft game. You get it through the Windows Store or through the Mojang website. But you won't be able to get it through the Mojang website for very long because I think as of mid-March, it's all going to be Windows Store only. It's okay, Miss Chrislin. There's a lot of people that haven't been in there yet. And there's there's no there's no harm or foul or anything. You're, you're perfectly fine. Rock on, girl. Rock on. You have paths going all over the island and safe houses for people to hang out in at night and the end portal building is done. Was just looking for suggestions. Hmm. How about a giant windmill, sleepy developer? Build a monument to Terra. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. I am not above you guys in any way, shape, or fashion. We are all the same. Uh, Dirt Master. I, I don't know what the... I, I don't know. Probably. As long as you can sign in with your old account, you should be able to download the game. Oh, stop it, Miss Chrislin. Our feet are still on the same ground. Oh yeah, we have, we have plenty of stone. Okay, let me grab some boxes here. My head is above you. Did I miss you? I'm terribly. I'm glad you're back. Stop going away. <laughs> oh, hold on, real quick, guys. I told I told Kamesy I'd remind her to take her medication. I haven't done that yet. Medicate. Okay, got her. You would suggest building a large tree, but Wikipedia's already done that. <laughs> Don't take his idea from him. The whole island slowly turning into a village. Why not? Why not build a, a, a giant custom village? Hi, me, Jan. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Just build a just build a big, like sleepy developer brand village. Would that be something you you would be interested in? A elevator? I don't know what a elevator is. That sounds interesting. Yeah, you because then you can you, you can have individual houses and you can make like your own blacksmithing area, your own armory. You can make like a um um a shepherd with a loom and have like sheep and stuff. You're not in your house. Ooh, are you at your boyfriend's house? Ew, get a room. <laughs> I need I need to go up here and grab that. Where you make a rope slide elevator from surface to deep underground. Oh, I got you. Hi, racing kid. What's up, buddy? He just went to work? Okay. Guess who's back home? Nice. Racing kid, tell her I said hi and welcome home. 